the struggle to overcome intolerance, the campaign to protect our environment, the plight of the homeless. Hi, I'm Corey Coffin, and welcome to Community Voices, where student filmmakers take on untold stories. The following documentaries are from the Dodge College of Film and Media Arts at Chapman University in Orange, California. In the Community Voices program, students partner with local nonprofit organizations to create stories about compelling social issues. Community Voices will take you on a journey as we give a voice to those who might otherwise remain unheard. How do you motivate underperforming high school students who are probably not going to graduate? What if you promise them time in a music recording studio if they bring up their grades? Make the Grades, Make the Cut is the logo of Cut Studios, an outreach center with an academic rewards program. In Making the Cut, see the difference this program makes in the lives and futures of these students. So one of the things that we wanted to do was use Cut Studios as an after-school um, incentive. All of the kids that we met, each of them all have an individual struggle. After we talked to him about the incentive for Cut Studios, he started attending four and five days a week. This is something big. is a multimedia outreach center and we run an academic rewards program where we award a student based on their GPA and outstanding citizenship uh, we grant them student recording time and music production time. his music. After two years, if he can't do it, um, she's going to send him to nursing school. The cut is all about Iris kid, and Randall is that our ideal kid. So that's the reason why I feel like Randall's like somebody that we definitely want to help. As you can see, we're at Big Lots, you know. Trying to get some CDs for my mixtape. I mean, CD covers, whatever they have. Make the interesting, you know? Make it look spiffy. All right, well, thanks for having me, guys. I've uh, worked with Pitbull, Puffy, and just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the industry and 
uh, kind of how you can kind of carve your own niche out in the industry. Well, I'm starting to write. Starting to write? Yeah. You I'm, sing at all or do you just write? I sing too. Okay. I um, recently am starting a new song. I only have like 30 seconds too. <laughs> Okay. I started like 13 years old. I don't know, I just like liked it, you know, like music and stuff and intrigued me. What are you doing now with it? You gotta uh, mix it. Yeah. Gotta make the gray to make the cut. So, um, so we're gonna look into these and review them and make sure, you know, um, we're gonna have a deadline, right? We have a deadline that's coming up. And so you guys wanted to keep up with your grades and do what you need. And if you guys have any questions, you need to come and talk to us and stuff like that. All right, man. We have any questions. When I was just talking about how, how for the Cut Studio, Randall is the perfect fit for, you know, for events like this because he definitely has a brain, you know, he's a very smart student. The only thing that he's having a trouble with, he focuses so much in music that he doesn't even come to school. I think they realize that, you know, they have to, they have to, they can't just be a great musician, they can't just be a great artist. They kind of have to know a little bit about the business side, a little bit about the production engineering side. Yeah, I'm really excited. I know opportunity when it's in front of me. It seems like that's what it is right there. We just gotta keep our grades up, so. I think the common lack that they had was motivation. All these kids are very artistically gifted, uh, and that's what motivates them. They're not academically gifted. So when they saw a link of what they're motivated with is music, and we linked it with education, now we got a motivation. Now we got something to work with. So let's start with Randall. Randall, you want to work with him. Um, this is his progress report as uh, the end of the quarter. When we gave this opportunity to kids, it was at the beginning of second quarter, so it was like, it, um, it was around February 2nd. Mm -hmm. So what I wanted you to see is any improvement. And I wrote you a little note, it dropped, it went up. So take a look at that with Randall. He works really well on independent study because attendance is his issue. He's a bright kid is gonna be successful if he's here every day. His trouble is attendance. This has been a great first three students for yes. us to start with, and now I have a better idea also of who, who's gonna benefit from the program. Thank you, thank good. you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time. Hello, good morning. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Hi, I'm there. Have a seat. We're, um, we're here collecting your progress report. Okay. And so, um, how do you think you did? Okay. You wanna look at it? You want to have a better idea of how you think the semester? I feel eerie about history. Okay. So, you know, you think you, you can do better or you're not putting... I, do, you, I you're do not, think I can do better. Okay. You think you can do better? Okay. Right. So you need to just push yourself a little mm -hmm. bit more? I was going to major in all um, music, but then, you know, like that little talk we had that he was like, you can't just focus on... You have to have a back. You can actually go to a university and learn more about music your, you know, with your passion at the same time, because now they tie music and business together. All right, thank you. Thank you for being here. Okay. Have a good day. All right, thank you. I just started writing this, like, the second class of the day, and I just, like, just got done with it. Like, I've never really done that, like, a whole day of just writing, 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 and so, here's what I came up with. It's, uh, so here's a story about the man with the money came to tell me. He says, in order to make it, you gotta have, you gotta present yourself with something. But I don't try and convince him. I just kick back and listen. Then he goes on and on with a whole lot of nothing. So he looked at me this time with a spark in his eyes and said, I didn't realize my world is in disguise. And so that's when the first step of, heal, of his healing began. That's when my father told me, son, you're becoming a man. So. It's just something that I've just wrote, wrote like all day. I've just been writing it and I'm happy with it. I want to lay it down on the track. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to be here every day, I'm trying to actually apply myself to the criteria, curriculum, in class. What I'm looking at here is last quarter, um, Randall probably attended one or two days a week. After we talked to him about the incentive, for Cut Studios, he started his attendance. He started attending four and five days a week. It's 
wanted to make sure that we have everything to make today work for us. I think it's about time for me to get mine. They know that we gon' shine cause we always on our grind And you watch us go and get it, there's no limit, so infinite We got a lot of class, plus the swag is so specific This is something big, like super big, because my grandma is always getting at me for my grades and stuff. She's like, you need to do good so you can get a good career and stuff. So I'm really happy. I think she's been super excited. I mean, you gotta learn how to dream. We're gonna go award Randall right now. Come on, let's give Randall a hand. I'm very proud of you. You wanna graduate with a cut hat also? But then go cut some tracks, right? Yeah, let your boy tell you best, man. Don't hit on haters, I just cancel their receptions. All they wanna do is see you fall into deception. I already learned my lessons from asking them right questions. Look into your mirror, nothing but complexion. Not an image from your TV or a DVD collection. Mama always told me that I gotta be myself. Cause life is too short to be anybody else. And all I wanna do is get that power and the wealth. And just stuff it in a duffel bag and stash it on my shelf. But that's me, and that's how I does it. I am so determined and them ladies really love it. Always Focused on my money, never put nothing above it. I don't listen to no haters, cause they only speak in rough bitch. I'm so above it and I does my thing. You trying to be like me, you gotta learn how to dream. What does it take to encourage young girls and help them find their individual voices? In Breaking Through, we explore Girls Inc., which works to empower girls and the journey of an underprivileged yet thriving girl as she approaches adulthood. Well, Girls Inc. is an organization that inspires girls to be strong, smart, and bold. And the way that we do that is through helping them learn 
that they have value, helping them understand that they can make the right decisions in their life, and if they don't make the right decisions, that there's always an opportunity to correct it. We help girls by giving them the skills that they need to, to feel empowered, to know that they can be something in life, to know that they can succeed in life without any barriers, without anybody telling them they can't because they're a girl. So just really teaching them that they have it within themselves and to give them that confidence to, to try and to believe that they can do it, to do anything. our Girls Inc. Main Center, where we typically serve girls that come from the Newport Mesa School District. So we may serve girls from low income areas. We also serve girls from middle to upper income areas. We also serve girls that are Latinas, African American, Asian, and Caucasian. It's a very broad mix of girls. Pick a pin. Do not pop your balloon. Take a pin and be very careful with it, please. What if it like Okay, what we're going to talk about is different types of peer pressure that a girl may experience. May experience. So it doesn't have to be something that you have already experienced, or it can be something that you've, or that you've already experienced. When you state whatever it may be, you don't have to answer any questions. We're just talking about different forms of peer pressure or something that you might hear from a friend or... Girls Inc. is a family of a national organization, and part of the role of the national organization is to develop the programs that are research and tested. So it means that they look at what are the issues affecting girls, not only here locally, but nationally. And then we look at what kinds of programmings could help girls really address those issues in a more efficient way. So if it's negative, we all move our little, our little pin a little bit closer to our balloon. <laughs> Um, I have a positive peer pressure, and positive peer pressure is when if someone were to tell you to stay in school or go to college. Monique is an amazing girl. When you think of her and you know her, you think amazing. She has a natural confidence about her. She has kind of a quiet leadership. She is a role model without trying to be. My name is Monique Molina and I'm 11 years old and I've been coming here since I was in kindergarten. When I first came I just like, I walked in and I sat on the bench and all of a sudden like everyone's coming up to meet me and I was like this is so cool and then I made friends and then it was just like from then on. Like Sierra, she still comes here, she's like my best friend. Um, it's because I've known her since I first came here, she's one of the first girls that came up to me and then we became friends and we were just friends ever since. I like coming here a lot because I guess since there's a lot of other girls I can I, I can relate to, like all even the volunteers, like I love talking to them and stuff because they really understand everything that you're saying and like they help you whenever you need anything. So I like like I look forward to coming here after school. Like, I get excited. It makes you it helps you. It makes you like feel like someone really understands what I'm going through right now. I live with my mom and my sister. My mom and my dad separated when I was smaller. And I really like love my mom. She's my hero. She's always been my role model. She has me and Kayla and she still works and she works really hard to always get us what we want and even though sometimes she's really tired she still does it because she loves us and cares about us. Okay. The truck, what's that? Back. A bug, okay what's that? Apple. Okay what's that? Baker. Yeah, who's that? Elmo. And what color is Elmo? When she turned four I found Girls Incorporated in a magazine and it said that they would pick them up and it was very inexpensive so I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna 
try taking her there. I think Girls Inc. has helped her be more outspoken. They have her do public speaking, and they learn a lot from that. Okay, hold on, let me just get a practice. Come here, look at me, Sheldon. See, we're kind of doing like silly, you know, goofy. A lot of the issues that affect girls are body image, eating disorders. Um, we do see high incidences of teen pregnancy. You want to do a boa? No? And I wanted to wear that kind of one. This one? What we try to do is really address all of those factors to help a girl feel that she can be successful. It makes me feel really grateful and sometimes it makes me kind of like, it makes me feel like really like, oh, I feel like I'm gonna cry. But it makes me feel like crazy because I know that she works really hard to get us what we have because she didn't have it when she was younger. I always tell her that she's smart. I want her to go to college. I want her to be all the things that I couldn't be, you know? And if I have to work three jobs for her to get there, then I have to work three jobs. But I want her to do something with, with her life. So there was a period of time when Monique stopped attending Girls Inc. We ended up contacting mom and, it, and she basically wasn't here for financial reasons. I just couldn't afford it. I know it's not much, they really helped me out, but it's just me, you know, like I have to pay my rent, I have to pay my car, I have to pay everything. I can imagine that she was sad and upset and felt lonely because she didn't have her camaraderie of friends around her. At that time, I don't think mom realized that she could ask for help if she needed it because we do offer scholarships and we do, you know, case by case basis allow girls to come here whether or not they can afford it. So I had emailed them like, oh, I'm going to send you payments. And then that's when they approached me. How did that feel? Good. They really love Monique. They love your I know family. Girls Inc. loves Monique. I tell her that it amazes me the way that she is. She's so outgoing and so confident and talks to everybody. I was not confident. When I was her age, I didn't have any friends. I do believe that Girls Inc. had a lot to do with her confidence and just the way she is. It's happened to where we've had like a family issue and they were like there to listen and, and help and I'm sure they do this for other people too. programs that teach them to, about leadership skills, personal development, and also um, any a broad base of knowledge on making good choices that lead into good careers for them so that they can become self-sufficient. We've seen some tremendous results from girls that maybe were having a lot of behavior issues at school and now they're not. We've seen girls that had learning disabilities and were able to overcome those through some one-on-one -on -one tutoring and mentoring. And in the past, eight years, we've had over uh, $200,000 awarded to girls in college scholarships.
Monique can be whatever she wants to be. She is going to be so well-rounded as a student and so well-rounded as a young adult that she can get any scholarship. She can, you know, get into any college based on her. Her not giving up, her always trying harder, and just her being the leader that she is. I want to be a psychiatrist for kids who have been through like, abuse and hard life that didn't really have a program like Girls Inc. to help them like realize the issues in their life and help solve them with people that they can talk to. And I want to be that person. I want to be able to talk to them and help them. And I want to be in a situation where I can help kids and change their life. Funding for this program was provided by Chapman University.